yeah as part of this session let us discuss about uh, reference type casting or object type casting or user defined data type type casting why we have to discuss this one i will be telling to you one thing see here one thing see here what is the main difference between this uh, this this 9 and uh, this 9l or 9 small l ah uh, come on guys you might be aware of this one what is the main difference between this 9 and this 9l of course both are representing the same value but thing is what types are getting differ getting this is what primitive ah uh, this is what and uh, this is what ah uh, come on guys that is what primitive primitive int getting it is what primitive int a uh, literal right it is what primitive int literal and it is what primitive long literal if we do suffix a particular literal okay with small l or capital l then it is going to behave as what long primitive literal okay or primitive long literal okay primitive long literal getting ah now now in order to convert this uh, primitive int literal to the primitive long long literal what we have to do of course try to think about this one see here long l is equals to 9 so now see here now i want to convert this literal i want to convert that literal or else i want to convert that literal type from int primitive to the long primitive how of course this is possible what is this ah uh, it is what by default int right integral literal right it is ah uh, it is integral literal in our language fundamentals we are going to discuss okay i think we have discussed all of those things now what is going to get the i mean what is going to be happen here 32 blocks of data i am going to assign to ah uh, 64 blocks getting so what is going to get happen this value will be as it is here value will be as it is here but thing is what the type is going to get change getting it's very important why i am discussing this uh, type means uh, it's very important it is not a human our jvm is not a human our compiler is not a human even those are what instructions only so that they are using that type in great way so we have to understand that one not uh, i mean i mean just for uh, sake or uh, just for formality i'm not discussing this one okay try to understand here if you do compile this piece of code this l i mean after compilation okay after compilation okay after compilation it will be like what do you know 9 l getting it will be like what 9 l okay it will be like what 9 l why i'm discussing all these things means uh, this end of the pure fundamentals uh, pure the basic fundamentals for our overloading overriding okay if you are good in these pure fundamentals because without fundamentals they i mean they didn't develop i mean they might have not developed all that overriding overloading concepts okay with these uh, with these fundamentals only they have enhanced those topics okay try to understand those are all very good concepts which we are going to use in our uh, in our real time applications i will tell some few I mean uh, like uh, what we call that few good uh, real time examples for those who are writing things okay now at the time of discussing overriding i'll be discussing about that one so just to give confidence uh, just to make you guys this one i will just explain one i mean i'm going to compile one small piece of code try to understand that one okay just a minute okay now yeah this is the same i mean uh, whatever i have written overboard long l is equals to nine here it is which type of variable it is ah uh, it is instance variable right now let me go and compile this piece of code okay and let me show to you what is that java c oop dot java right now i have compiled let us go and see that dot mass file i have one decompiler in my lappy that is see here it is what i have put here what is our source code here guys ah uh, what is our source code here it is nine but what is happening here ah uh, or else i'll do one more thing for your sake okay let me take one default constructor ah uh, default constructor this dot l equals to nine okay okay try to observe here now i'm going to recompile this one once again okay and of course the source code i mean compile dot class file has been changed now let me open that one okay see here whatever i have written in our source code the same thing but here what is that ah uh, what is that ah uh, this dot l are directly even i can take what l only why because there is no of course uh, there is no naming resolutions see here nothing great in this thing but try to understand the concept guy okay 
concept okay try to understand here what is this i'm just assigning primitive int literal but what is happening here it is assigning what a uh, a long a literal it is converting the type based on the types okay that's very important so try to look at this look at these guys okay try to look at this one okay so it is good so now it is performing that uh, i mean the value is same the literal is same but thing is what it is changing the literal type it is changing the literal type see here if it is like this it is what int type and uh, if it is like uh, nine point uh, or nine l means it is what long type if it is like nine point uh, zero d or else what nine d means what double and if it is like nine point zero f means what float right it is what float right so the values are same try to understand the literals the values are same but thing is the literal uh, types are getting different that is the value types are getting different why it is doing that one means uh, i mean here you are using which type of uh, i mean uh, which type of uh, data type or which data type it is what primitive l so what is going to get happen there think that this is what or else think that this one it is what it is going to get represent in 32 blocks right ah uh, it is going to get represent in 32 blocks right and these 32 blocks of data i am going to assign to whom ah uh, i am going to assign ah uh, i am going to assign to 64 blocks getting this let it be we have i mean uh, zeros and ones in this 32 blocks okay that 32 blocks of data i'm going to assign to 64 blocks getting so there won't be any loss of information but thing is what the type is going to get changed it is representing what this block it is representing what int type now i'm going to copy this uh, and now i'm going to copy this uh, 32 blocks of uh, data or information to uh, 64 blocks getting Try to understand guys it's very important pure fundamentals based on these memory representations without memory see no program is going to get execute that's why you have to be good in memory representation whenever they are developing the compilers or jvms or a particular uh, programming language they'll be thinking each and everything in terms of memory and in terms of performance okay if you're good in data structures or algorithms i'm sure that you can even develop or you'll have an ability to develop the compilers also and you have to be good in what analysis logic is very important to you okay now so what i'm doing here i'm copying this data to the long so what is happening here type is getting changed right but information is what that is the data that is the literally same but the type is getting changed okay try to understand it's very important okay now it is good it is with respect to the primitive it is what with respect to the primitive each and everything is what with respect to the primitives so why it is doing all these things we all know uh, do you see any int that is in the class anywhere in our api documentation for byte for short but of course we are having wrapper classes for them okay but do you see any int class no we didn't see these things have been dumped where in our java c and java even if you go and open that you cannot see that one getting that's why you have to learn the hidden things okay now so it is having the awareness of this int and also it is having the what is the range of int two one four seven four eight three six four eight which is from negative to the plus means what four seven okay and if it is long means it is something different what is that long means ah this and all very important if you go for any big interviews they'll be asking you okay ah seven two zero three six ah eight five four double seven ah five eight zero eight okay two what is that seven getting getting these things this all will get uh, same and here it will be as what seven okay now this is what the range of long okay please try to understand all these things okay now it is having by default they have dumped all these things so i'm not required to intimate this to the compiler and java c that is java c is what compiler and for the jvm okay but what is the scenario please try to understand what is the scenario if it is like what user defined data type literals or what is that ah uh, or what what is this or objects okay objects are what ah uh, or what what is that reference not reference just user defined literals and uh, objects that's it okay it doesn't uh, give good meaning okay what is that user defined literals and objects getting ah we have seen that one why classes are called as what user defined data types we have seen that one please try to understand this one okay everything will be with very good advanced level you have to be well focused to understand all these things we'll be giving that depends on you how you are going to consume it okay now 
so now how to perform that one how to how to convert a particular user defined data type from one type to the other type think that i have one literal let it be of type what a uh, let it be of type what a okay it is what a object it is what a literal in turn it is going to get represent in terms of what zeros and ones only right we have seen that one right please we have seen all these things okay please don't get confused okay now if you didn't get please let me know okay if you didn't catch my flow please understand let me know okay i'll make it very clear to you okay now try to understand this one it is what underlying data or underlying object is what a means what it is a user defined literal of type what a user defined data type is what collection or combination of other user defined data types and what primitives getting that's why we are using these classes always we go for class 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 and they have provided many many services to us who sun microsystem has provided many services to us as part of the classes okay now try to understand this one okay think that we are having int i equals to double line here okay okay let it be now i want to convert this literal to the par, i mean i want to convert that literal to other type how how we have to do that is what that is what a uh, that is what that is what our that is what our reference type casting or object type casting getting that is what our reference type casting and object type casting okay that is what our reference type casting ah uh, and or what is that object okay object type casting or what user defined data type ah uh, user defined data type type casting that is also a valid thing only okay now what is that user defined data type type casting okay ah uh, come on guys okay now try to understand this one this is what our main topic here okay now now try to understand this one okay see here the most dangerous and brain eating thing is what a reference type casting only if you are good in this reference type casting i'm sure that you can survive in your companies because they will be giving directly the job files to you they will ask you to ah please go and develop one application for this particular job file like that they will be asking your project manager will be asking you the same questions okay at that time you have to understand you have to understand which things were there by using type casting only i mean uh, type casting will help you a lot it is true guys okay try to understand this one okay